Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for October 4th. October 4th is the 277th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 278th in leap years with 88 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is verdigree. Verdigree is the word used to describe the light bluish green encrustation or patina formed on copper or brass by atmospheric oxidation, consisting of basic copper carbonate. Actually, the common name for any of a variety of poisonous copper salts of acetic acid. It's a very pretty shade of bluish green and has in the past been used as a green pigment in such things as artists' paints. Apparently, it's not that stable a color, though, as its brightness and intensity depends on its hydration level and its pH, which can certainly change as it interacts with other materials. The Statue of Liberty is the particular color she is because of her patina of verdigree. Beware, though, this beautiful stuff is toxic and can cause nausea, anemia, and death. Its toxicity, along with its impermanence as a pigment, has resulted in its being replaced by more suitable pigments in artists' paints. The name verdigris translates to green of gray, and that may be one origin of the word, or is more likely to be an adaptation of either a phrase that meant green of Greece, like the country Greece, or from a phrase that meant something like green from vinegar, which is one way to accelerate the oxidation of copper to turn it green. First known use of the word verdigree is in the 1300s. Verdigree. Now, if you've got a word that you're curious about and would like to see us talk about it here in this Word of the Day section, pop it in the comments and we'll take a look at it. And with that, the first complete modern English translation of the Bible, known as the Coverdale Bible, was printed on October 4th, 1535. There had been Old Testaments and New Testaments printed in English before this, and the Psalms, of course, but this was the first complete printed translation into English of the Bible. The Gregorian calendar was introduced by Pope Gregory the 13th on October 4th, 1582. Mexico adopted a new constitution and became a federal republic on October 4th, 1824. This is the birthday of American painter, sculptor, and illustrator Frederick Remington, born October 4th, 1861. A remarkable artist, he worked in watercolor and oil painting, drawings, and sculpture. He was an amazing and prolific artist, and he got a lot done in his all-too-brief 48 years. He died from complications from an emergency appendectomy in 1909. Texas A&M University originally opened as the Agricultural and Mechanical College of Texas, the first public higher education institution in Texas, on October 4, 1876. Norman Rockwell's recurring character, Willie Gillis, made his debut on the cover of the Saturday Evening Post on October 4th, 1941. I may have covered some of these items in previous episodes for October 4th, but I'm also pretty sure that I talked about things that we didn't go over today. So I'll leave a link for you to a previous episode for October 4th in, in case you're curious about that. Today's song is Another One Bites the Dust. <laughs> Can you hear it in your head right now? Another One Bites the Dust by British rock band Queen appeared on Queen's album The Game in 1980. This one was Queen's best-selling single, a worldwide hit, spending 31 weeks in the Billboard Hot 100 chart, 15 of those weeks in the top 10, and beginning on October 4th, three weeks in the number one spot. Since its release, Another One Bites the Dust has been covered, remixed, and sampled by numerous artists, used in TV shows, commercials, movies, and other forms of media, and played during sports occasions. Another One Bites the Dust could also keep you from biting the dust, as the timing of the beat is perfect for the timing of chest compressions while performing CPR. Another One Bites the Dust by Queen, number one, October 4th, 1980. Link in the description.
And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That playlist lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that's called No Really. <laughs> You can also find me on Rumble, BitChute, and Odyssey. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. This is the birthday. I didn't get that. Could you try again? I wasn't talking to you. Phone. Okay. Cacophony is a sound. <laughs> Cacophony is a noun that... I'm going to have to look that up. Mm. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. You got to read it the right way. Let's start over. <laughs> it's 8 o'clock, so all of the reminders are going to be dinging. I forgot to turn those off. <laughs> okay, stop it. Don't alienate people who can be helpful to you. Flinging happiness all over the place. All right. Back to work. I think we got it this time.